Guys, today's video is about one of our dear friends, a watch dealer that you guys have seen many, many times on the channel that just got scammed. We gotta show you this. Adam, can you believe what you saw? No, it's, I mean, I would also have been scammed. Yeah, so would I, so would I. This is just unbelievable. So today we're gonna to show you two Rolex watches, one of which is real and one of which is not. It is by far the best replica anybody's ever seen. We've got a microscope here, because when you look at other videos on YouTube, there's lots of them where they compare fakes with replicas. They show you, well, there's a little bit on the hands where they're uneven and the lumen isn't right. This is not like that. This is a fake that looks like a real one. And like I say, our dear friend got scammed. He bought it, he examined it, and I don't even know how he found out that it wasn't real, but uh, we're gonna show you and then you judge for yourself. We're not even gonna tell you which one is real and you can put in the comments which one you believe is real. And we're gonna do this with a microscope. So this is watch number one. That's real. Show me watch number two. That's also real. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Okay, so let's look at details. Let's look at the, the hands. And there's a little bit of reflection there, but Pay notice to around the hands and how accurate. Is that fully, fully focused? No, I think you can go in a little bit more if you want to get the Mercedes symbol there you go. Uh, back a bit. There you go. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Science with Michael. I know, I know. <laughs> Why do you have this? Uh, well, I, I, I have everything, right? It's just I like stuff. So I figured... <laughs> You know, I've got, I've got a lot of watches. I might, I might want to take a look at how they're made. And um, this is the second time I ever brought it out. The first time is when I got it, which is a couple of years ago. <laughs> and now this, because of... When I walked in and I saw this setup, I had no idea what we were going to uh, do. Aren't you impressed? It's very good. Look how perfect this all is. Look at the font, how perfect everything is. It's absolutely incredible, right? Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that's not the real one. It might be. Let's look at the other ones. Do you remember which one's which, so you give back the right one? Uh, I wrote down the, the, the number, so, <laughs> okay. so... That's how good it is. We weighed them as well, identical to the milligram. Identical, identical. So let's go left and right. This is left. Okay. So take a look at this. The hands are absolutely perfect. Yeah. The date window is perfect. That's a reflection of the light. That's yeah. nothing to do with... But look at the hands, how perfect they are, and the script. So let's now go up and look at the bezel. Normally, this little guy here... So that's normally an absolute and utter giveaway. And as is the markers... It looks like that dot isn't centered, like in the middle of the triangle. But, it is. But it is. It's just the angle that we've got the, the microscope looking at the, the watch at. But that is completely centered on the left watch. And now let's go to the right watch. Oh, okay, so I just saw my first difference. I see a slight difference as well now. It's still I, centered. Yes. This is like one millimeter in from the triangle. But yep. again, both of these are perfect, absolutely perfect perfect as is the lumen on the sides so look at the machining on the bezel as well so can we can, zoom in a bit better on that uh i'm sure if you go push the micro the microphone the uh, microscope closer and then we can focus i'm not very good at this there oh there you go you got it yeah no it there. needs to be focused yeah <laughs> you're horrible <laughs> Look at the detail, and we're going to turn the bezels in a minute so you can hear how they turn and the, the yeah. feel of them. Okay, so that's, this is now watch right. Right, yeah, the right watch. Right, forget yeah. the one and two, right. And now we're going over to, oh, okay. let's go over to this one. And let's look at that. I mean, I can't tell a difference. Very similar, right? Now, this is what I can under, see is some like little scratches, but that- The other one can, had it too. Well, I still don't know. Okay, so now let's look at the crowns. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, so this is watch right. Yeah. Oh, look at all these scratches. This one's been worn for sure. Yeah, it has, right? But that's number 
right. That's <laughs> number, number right. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then let's... Should I like number left? Well, I'm keeping this to the right, this one, yeah. and let's just put this one here and do exactly the same thing. Ooh, okay, interesting. Do you see a difference? Uh, no. So it looks like this one sits higher up. Like it's been machined, that more material's been machined off around it. Than and the other also one. look at the cuts on the edge. Yeah. And let's put let's put right back on. So, so they're this, very this very goes. triangular. Oh, coming back. Now this one's also the same. It's the same embossing. I but I think. I don't hmm. see I don't see a difference. And then look at the the actual cuts on the um, yeah outside. Right, they, yeah. they look very similar. They do. Very, very similar. Okay, still can't tell. Okay, so let's turn them over. Oh, we don't need the camera for this. So this one here, this is the one from the right. Um, I'll put it like this and then... Yeah. Right, it also has the slip mechanism in here that slides. Okay. Right. So that's for adjusting it when you're wearing a wetsuit, right? Because yes. everybody dives wearing so that was the right side. Now let's take this one. And again, exactly the same, feels the same. And this one, unplug it, and also, oops, also slides the same. Let's see. And oh yeah, so it's got the little serrations has in the there. same serrations inside it, you see that moving? Yeah. And then this is a the slightly bigger link, and that clicks back in. But this one is the left, left, and this one is the <laughs> right. Which we're I'm really about. enjoying this. You're laughing at me no. because I'm, I'm, I'm sure some of the other videos where the real versus replica are done in a more professional way. Never. But never. they've never had a watch like this to compare to. That, that looks pretty good. You can see, you know, there's no, nothing's touching. Everything looks... And you can see the detail mm -hmm. inside the, the actual engraving. Now, if I was going to be really picky, this the here e. looks a bit suspect. Let's see if, if the yeah, other one has it. Yeah, let's check the other one out. Ooh, look at that. That's different. That's very different. It is very different, isn't it? Well, it's it's kind of perfect. Yeah. Look at the E. Yeah. Okay, I think we've just blown it for ourselves. I think I know which one's the fake one now. Which one do you think is the fake one? Based on this, I mean, that is like perfect. Every, look, every detail is perfect. Let's move, let's move along. Let's go to Geneva. Yeah. Remember, this is the left watch. Yeah. Geneva. Yeah. That's right. And then... Oh. Oh. There. That's so much clearer. Okay, so there's one little tiny thing that I noticed. Let me point it out. Okay. You see the E here in Geneva? Yeah. There's no accent on it. I'm, oh. I'm moving back. No, there's none on that one either. There is. That's a bit of dust. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a, a dot. It's not a not an accent. Certainly, I wouldn't say that's an accent. Okay. Let's look at more things. I already know. I have to keep my glasses. <laughs> So that's, that's right. Oh, look at that. I didn't know it did that. What that's is... how you make the adjustment. Oh, so you don't just slide it? <laughs> I think you do. Well, you do slide it, but that's how you, yeah. Okay, so does the other one do that? So now I'm, this one is right. I know, I know it's right. Okay. Okay, and this one. Oh yeah, it does, yeah. Look, same. Oh, that's, it's very smooth. Yeah. This is left. Interesting. Okay, let's look at these teeth under the microscope. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Because now, now you've got the glasses on, it looks like you're doing a science experiment. <laughs> I am. Okay, so this is right. Yeah. And then let's move to left. Where the heck is it? Keep going this way. I can't find there you it. Go. Oh, there we it. go. Okay. Oh, look at that. See that bit of bit of grubbiness in there? Which one? There, look. Look at that. Left's got some what looks like rust. 
Where? Right here. It's like oil, oh, I think like that's dirt. Grease that's, or... Yeah, it's dirt. Yeah, it comes off. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, it comes off. Okay. So one of these is a 2023 and the other is a 2016. There is one difference in the watch as a manufacturer and that is, show you, on the 16, I don't know which one's which here and I don't know which one is the real or which one is not. So you see this says Swiss made. Let me zoom into that. Yep, I see it. Swiss made. Yep. And the other one has the Rolex symbol in between Swiss and made. Okay. And that was a differentiator that Rolex made. Yeah. Um, so either one of them could be correct. Okay, got it. Does, so does that, that, yeah, yeah. So, so it, that's not, hey, one's real because it has it and one isn't because it, it, that's not the case. Okay. They came both ways. So... That doesn't look straight to me. It doesn't? It looks like it's a little bit further this way. Do you see how the crown doesn't look quite like it's square? No, it looks good to me. Where do you not think it looks So good? it looks like the crown's a little bit this way. I think that's the angle of the, the camera. Can we change the angle? Let me turn this around and see if that makes a difference. Where's six o'clock? That's 20 I'm pointing at. <laughs> okay, so there, look. Absolute dead center. Okay. You agree? Yeah, okay, all right. Thought, camera, camera angle. I thought, I thought I'd found it. Okay, and then there's the back. And yep. there's also an escape valve. That's the right watch, left watch. Okay. I see no difference. No difference whatsoever, right? This one actually, you can kind of see that it might have a gasket. It looks like you can see a gasket around there, which I couldn't really see on the other one. Let's have a look at the other one. Oh no, yeah. You Same. See, yeah, identical, isn't it? And then let's look at the back of them. So this is the back of the right watch. Look at the teeth and the seed dweller writing. Okay, looks pretty, pretty perfect. This is the right watch. Yeah. And then let's look at the left watch. Should have bought two microscopes. I know, right? <laughs> sea dweller. This one's been worn. Yeah, they've both been worn. But this one looks like it's been worn more, the left one. Yeah, I mean, that's... And look at the notches again. Yeah, the, they're, they're very, very sharp, aren't very they? Very sharp, same, they're, they're so similar. All right. So I know which one is the real one. Let me guess. Okay, let, let's uh, let's see how good you are. So this is now the right uh, and the left. So what I'm thinking is, this bezel isn't quite as low. Oh, one more thing we have to do. We have to turn the bezel so everyone can hear. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is the right. And then this is the left. <laughs> it's Sounds exactly Identical, right? You can't... There's also another thing on the bezel. Is that in the middle? Uh, one more. Yeah. Okay. So, they both have, when you press it, they both have a little bit of play and it's, it's identical. Yeah. You can, you can press both of them. That one actually made a little bit of a click. This one didn't. Yeah, I think it was just seating in. Okay, so here's my observations. Okay. This one, the bezel isn't quite as bright. The, the, the numbers aren't, they are brighter white on this. But also, I, if I was to guess, I would say this was probably the new one because I know that like, when they came out with the ceramic bezels, like on the Submariners, for example, they looked, they, the ceramic bezels popped more. So I would guess that this, am I right in saying this is the alleged 2024? And this 2023. is the- 2023. And this is the alleged 2016? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So that doesn't really mean much. The the writing is definitely more leg well not legible but like thicker. The where it says uh, gas escape valve looks thicker. The the ink is thicker than on this one. This one looks less. Gas escape valve. Yeah, it, says, it? it says original gas escape valve on the inside. Oh, it does. On the yeah on the sub on the um, inner uh, bezel chap no, chapter. But they're both right. perfect, right? There's no, yeah. There's, there's no leak of ink or nope. bleed. Nothing. Nothing. Um, they both sound identical. The sweep looks identical. If I'm gonna say anything, 
this one, the sweep looks a little bit more notchy than this one. And also this has a thicker uh, second, seconds hand than this one. So what's your analysis, Mr. Sword? <laughs> I think they're both real. I honestly- It could be, I could be tricking you. <laughs> th this one here, this one, there was a few things that I saw on the video that, you know, up on the microscope that were a bit suspect. The way that the engraving isn't quite as good, that kind of stuff. This one, however, when you just adjusted the bezel, it rotated back a tiny, tiny bit. And I feel like Rolex would never allow that. The bezels are like, basically perfect, unless they're aftermarket and then they get a bit of play in them. Right. So as much as this one did throw a couple of red flags. Turn the bezel again to see if you feel the same way. Okay, hold on, let me zoom in, see if you guys can see what I saw. So it was like, right as you notched it, it just, see that? See that tiny bit of play? Sorry, this one. Ah. Oh God, that's got it too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I genuine, genuinely don't know. They are so, well, one of them is such a good replica. And this is why, guys, you have to be so careful and make sure that when you buy a watch, you buy it from a very, very repu rep reputable dealer. The dealer that bought this is highly reputable, whichever one of these it is, right? But they took the extra steps of taking it to Rolex and having it authenticated by Rolex to make sure the movement actually matched the case and it was only then that it was discovered that there was a little bit of suspicion behind one of these two watches. Shall I tell them which one's the real one? Yeah. You gotta make it you gotta make a choice first. Which one's the real okay, one? Okay, in the comments below, go and write which one you think, left or right. Play along, play along with us guys. Go down into the comments right now and say if you think the left one is the fake or the right one is the fake. I don't know. Which one? Go. No, I don't you know. You have to commit to one and then I'll tell you. The, this one had some suspect engraving. Okay. That threw me the most. Okay. This one, all the engraving was perfect. Everything, oh, but this one did have that slightly bigger dot than this one. But again, that might just be the older bezel versus the new bezel. I, this one, fake. This one fake? Yeah. This one is real. Get out of town. Yeah. So, well, that doesn't surprise me. What surprised me is that that means that this one is a fake. Yeah. It's wow. so good. It's so, so, so good. Maybe it's maybe it's too good. You know what I mean? Like the, the engraving so, is so, so well done. So, I mean, apparently, apparently for every real Rolex, there's like 20 fakes out there in the world. Oh, I believe, right? yeah. Um, I bet a lot of people wearing them think they're real and they're not, unfortunately. Especially but, if you buy them without box and papers. But they're so good. This came with box and papers, and the papers, oh, yeah. according to the the um, the dealer, Rolex took them. <laughs> oh, really? Like yeah, they confiscated so, them? Yeah, they confiscated them. Yeah, they didn't confiscate the watch for interesting. some interesting reason, but they, they did confiscate the papers. So it's very, very interesting. That's that's, nuts. I know. I mean, it's. I would say that is as close to a one-to-one -one replica. Perfect. Even like, look at the bracelet. Everything look about how good it. the bracelet is. Everything about it is is just perfect. I mean, the amount of tension is exactly <laughs> the same. I mean, it is, isn't it? Like, it's exactly the same. Like the the amount of jiggle they have. It's the same. It's perfect. That's but, wild. I mean, it's perfect. Wow. Anyway, so there it is. I can um, see how he got tricked. Yeah. Or, or so, she. oh my gosh, I just put the watch. Which one's which? Hold on. <laughs> So it's the one. This is the fake. Yeah, this is the this. Yeah, because the way that we know the difference is the Rolex marker at the six o'clock. That one has the crown. Yeah. This one has a crown. It's the it's the newer version. They yeah. came, they came both ways. Yeah. Oh, they both have as well. We could show it under the microscope. They both have their little Rolex emblem in the glass as well. Oh wow! Do you want to show it? If you can, yeah, if you can find it. Where's six o'clock? I'm not even close, going. am I? There you go. Right there, you can see the uh, the crown very clearly. And interestingly, on every replica I've ever seen, comparison on on uh, YouTube, the fake ones have a very visible. Oh, okay. Yeah, because on the real one, which is this one, let's see the difference. There it is. Where? 
uh, it was there. Uh, uh, I don't see it. You sure? <laughs> you yeah. Sure, you got it. Got the right one. Yeah. I don't. I don't see it. It's there. No, I can't see it again. No. It's definitely here. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> there was there. Uh, uh, Which way did it go? It's, it's, it's gone. Yeah. It was clear as a bell. So we couldn't find it. I, I swear it's there on diesels. It is, we've both seen it with the loop and they're very, very similar on both the watches. It's just we found it luckily on the on the replica. Do you want to see something cool? Yeah. Want to see what meteorite looks like under the microscope? Oh, yeah. God, you haven't worn that one for forever. I know, but I love this watch. I mean... And it's, it's platinum it's, too, isn't it's it? It's platinum, it's very heavy. So let's, let's look at what meteorite looks like. Look at that. Wow, look at the diamonds. Yeah, right? Isn't that beautiful? That's really cool. A rock from space. A rock from space. So there it is. Fascinating, actually. Are you gonna end this video for people so they can go on with their day? Hit the subscribe <laughs> button, hit the bell. We're in it to win it and be very, very careful where you buy your watch because like I say, fooled me, fooled Adam, fooled one of the most reputable watch dealers that we know and it will easily fool you too. So be very careful where you buy your watch. And with that, cheerio. We're in it to win it. I said that. Did you? Yeah. Did you say, make sure that you register your watches on Digital Watch Vault so that you don't get scammed? That's a great idea. Register your watch on Digital Watch Vault. We'll put the link in the description and that way you can uh, verify where it came from. And yeah, why didn't I say that? Whatever. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even in focus. <laughs> That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. Which is the real one now? Uh, that one that you've got. We should go smash this one with a hammer. No.